What's up, guys? Back with another one. I'm Ryan. This is George. What's going on, guys? How you living? Yeah, man. Lost in Vegas coming back at you with another unbiased real reaction. Free real thinkers, you already know. You yeah. already know. Yeah, you know what man. I'm saying so. Uh, let's get to it. We uh, we need to take a trip back to the UK, man. Yeah, we've, man. We've neglected you guys for a little bit. <laughs> we've neglected. We but gotta we get back. To you. Always bring it back. We gotta come back to we you. Always so, bring it back. We got a lot of requests for ocean wisdom. Yeah, um, man. Walking was uh, it was walking and uh, fire in a booth. No, it was like neck and neck. And we, I like to hear a song from someone. Yeah, I mean, I want to hear. We've done a lot of fire, fire in the booth. Yeah, so. I want to hear what someone's ability to make a song sounds like. And um. Um, you guys said this dude was uh, an up-and-coming dope dude in the UK, so let's give him a shot. You know what I mean? Yeah, so man. Let's do it. Ocean Wisdom, walk it. Let's get it. What I'm talking about. Yeah. Let's go in. Yo. Yo. See me, I'm walking. Right, cause I don't run from Make a film of badly, find a proper fucking stump. And I'm Captain Wiz, and I'm actually shoving dirt in the dust. And I'm blowing it back in faces of... I like that boom. Yeah, back, yeah, yeah. That's like, like a that's like a New York street beat right now. That's that early nineties. Yeah, know, early to mid nineties. Soon as it came out, I was like, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh. I'm a sucker for that though. Sucker for them boom bat beats. Let's get back to it. Really try and brush, man. I get a wheel in the club on the microphone. They didn't know I handle bars. It's a minor though. They offer me some gear, but I'm overtired. All this talk and make a bread and wanna cycle home. No, I flabbergasted that with them. I slam on the candy, coming in handy. Dripping a script, I'm doing a walk, I'm telling a story, doing a plan. How the fuck okay. Okay. I'm so angry? Let's get back to let's get to the lyrics here a little bit. So, so I'm guessing, right, when he says, uh, I get a wheel in the club on a microphone, they didn't know I handle bars. It's a wheel. Yeah. But, hand, I don't but, know it's, that's a but it's a minor, though. So I don't know if it's, is he talking like. But what's a wheel in a club? Right. I don't know if he's, like, that means, like, he about to get busy on somebody and that's a minor, like a, like a felony and a minor. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. On the microphone, though. So is he getting busy, like, is he getting busy, like he's killing a rock in the mic? Might get a wheel in the club on the microphone. They didn't know I handle bars. So yeah, I guess that's I, I can handle bars. He's handling. Okay, I got you. Microphone handle bars. So I get a wheel in, but how does he, I guess wheel is a weird slang. Anyways, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I go from reading the pinos to beating up emo. Swimming in speedos to swinging in chinos. Mimicking heroes to zero. From Zorro to Tarantino, we're living like weirdos. Guess the level of violence increases as the fear grows. Mm. Okay. okay, that let's was talk hot. About it. Yeah, let's that was talk hot. About it. All right, so let's try to break it down a little bit. Uh, mimicking heroes to zeros, right? Then he said, uh, from Zorro to Tarantino's, we're living like weirdos. So uh, that could go a few different ways. Yeah, um, mimicking heroes to zero. So is he saying, and you know, UK subs, you know, chime yeah. in on this one. Uh, is he saying mimicking people who are honorable? Like we we went, we went from mimicking people who we should we should follow, who carry themselves with honor and integrity, right. to then mimicking people who are low lives and zeros. Like we went from mimicking right. heroes to zeros, because then he says from Zorro to Tarantino's. Well, what does he mean by Tarantino's? That's right. what I'm trying to figure out. So that's one way to book, to do it. Right. Or does he mean that we idolize people that we think are heroes that are really zeros? Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Meaning from from Zorro, which was like the hero, the Lone Ranger, right? He was the yeah. hero to Tarantino's, which Quentin Tarantino is a genius, but he is a little weird. You know what I mean? So we're living, living like weirdo. You know, so, so I don't, you know. Okay. Fuck it, let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. Let us know, guys. <laughs> but basically, they, he's saying that they, they're, they're living like weirdos. Something's going on. They're living like they're on some bullshit is what right, I'm saying. Right. But we're just trying to figure out how he used the analogy. That's right, all. Right. And then he said, I guess the level of violence increases as the fear goes. Now, that was hard. Yeah. yeah. That was hard. You know, so um, guess how you can interpret that as shit. Like, you know, when people are scared, they're back into a corner. Yep. You know what I mean? They get more violent. Yep. You know what I mean? As the fear grows, you know what I mean? So there, there people are, I guess there's a lot of violence going on, increasing violence. We, we're, we're mimicking heroes to zeros. So now there's a lot of zeros in the hood that are that acting out in a violent manner. And yeah. people are trying to mimic these guys. And now violence in the hood grows. And now, I, I don't know. Yeah, I get it though. I think that's, you hit it right on, on the nail. You know okay. what I mean? Because when a person is backed into a wall, that's when you, <laughs> you that, that's the scariest that you ever see a person there. They ain't got nothing to lose because yeah. they feel like, their life is over anyway, so I might as well kick, scratch, punch, shoot, right, stab, whatever you so need to scared. do yeah. to be to be uh, you know self preservation. Yep. Basically, you're so. back into a corner. You're you know you're scared. Yep. You get violent just to defend yourself. Yep. So absolutely, I guess that's what he means. 
got the If you're my seller, I'm the night fish seller Till it's made of waste, you must have wrapped that in some cellar Still a break, can't have one tell a mate about this massive fella On the beat and on the shoot, there ain't no acky bit of fast, he's fed up, yo See? Yeah, man, his, uh, his wordplay is pretty good though, man I, I gotta say that, the way he can Put you know them syllables together. Yeah, you know? his multi-syllable usage. Yeah, that's word pretty good. Is good. You know, I give him that. Um, I think what's throwing me off is the slang. Yeah, there's a lot of I can tell it's UK slang that I just don't I don't know what that is because I'm not from the UK. I got dank piff in my cellar, so I'm assuming that's weed piff. Dank, I yeah. guess that's weed. It's smelling too much rapping some cellar, and then he has a, his accent is strong on top of that. Celebrate, common, one talame, and then see that's the thing. So it's it's not only the slang. That right. he's using it's his accent, yep. and then there's their then there's the Caribbean influence yep, sounds exactly. like as well. So it's like, what is there's he talking about? There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Yeah, okay. Okay. but that 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 takes skill, you know, yeah, no, I mean? to be able to incorporate all he's that. He's flowing. So, he's yeah. flowing. I'm trying to figure out he's, if he's got bars though. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> in, order for, in order for me to understand and get into if he's got bars, I need to understand what he's saying, and we just don't really know right. what he's saying because the slang as of yet. We'll get back to him now. We'll get back to it, but let's let's see what's going right. on. In my rap, there's unlimited difference in syllables. Hitting my pinnacle isn't a miracle, it's kind of literal. Feeling the feeling that's feeling more physical, feeling it's more of a spiritual. Hitting the visual, only one just a petition. And every feeling that I spy, he's spitting again. And again and again, tripping the tip of the pen. Getting a strip of the lamb. Delivery stepping to me, can't be delivery stepping to them. Yeah, they're leveling up, I'm leveling better than them. Tell it to listen, I'm used to be testing and never adjusting and never end again. Yeah, he's riding the fuck out that, though. He's he, his flow is crazy. He's killing it. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so let's get to the bars, though. Let's see if there's bars here. Yo, in my raps, there's unlimited lyrics and syllables. Hitting my pinnacle isn't a miracle. It's kind of literal. literal. Yep. Feeling a feeling that's minimal. Mm -hmm. Physical feeling, it's more of a spiritual. Yep. Healing a visual, audible justification of lyrically mm -hmm. winning. That's why I be spitting again and again and again, gripping the tip of the pen, hitting the spliff yeah, of the, the, off the, the limb. limb. Right. They lyrically step into me, I be lyrically stepping mm -hmm. to them. Okay. You know. I, I mean, the flow it's was, not bad. The flow was good. It's that. not bad. It's yeah. it's it's the the multi-syllable usage, yeah. the wordplay, the flow. Yeah, that's that's really seems to be his strong suit in this particular song. We are only judging right. this song independently, guys. So, this based off this yeah. song, wordplay, multi-syllable usage is but what I'm hearing. That's his strength right now. Yeah, he's not killing. bad though. Yeah, not bad. I got blocks that watch them got not me dropped. Yeah, I got props from blocks that chops. It's something got me. Gas as a motherfucker lost them crunchy watchy. You can't tell me that I don't win. Come on the beat, I'm like a granddad, I go in. Unique, brother, yeah, I've got my own team. Unique, you're not unique with gold rings. I'm a young brother with. Okay. Let's see. Watch me clock me, knock me, but don't, don't stop, stop me. me. I got flocks that watch and got not me properly. Woo! That's pretty that. good. That's pretty good. I that's pretty and good. I was just fucking around. <laughs> I was just fucking around on that. And I kind of, I kind of low key killed that. Nah, but uh, okay, yeah, more flow, more, more flow, and, and again alliteration and yep. like some uh -huh. usage. Cool. Right, let's keep it going. I'm holding more knowledge than a folder, and I'm focused, and you know I love more. Ain't no more holding grounds for ocean, man. Notice that I know my plan. T dot told me rope a dope's a joke. You need to go for man, so ocean goes for man. I owe you, fam. Owe you that. Came in the game. Okay, so rope a dope's a joke. You need to go for man. Yeah. So. Ocean's go for man. Yeah. So I guess he's oh, obviously can. rope a dope. Is he referencing Muhammad Ali doing a rope a dope? And he's saying rope. I've never heard that in any other reference. Uh, yeah, that's so be it's gotta be that. <laughs> I would think he's talking about Muhammad Ali yeah. doing rope a dope. So when Muhammad Ali did the rope a dope, it was a strategy to tire his opponent out. So yep. he laid on the ropes and let his opponent swing at him. But yep. he's saying, so he's saying his man T Dot told me to rope a dope's a joke. So fuck, like, and he said you need to go for man. So he said fuck playing a rope dope game, right. and letting people come at you. You go at them. You be the aggressor. I think is yeah. what he's saying. So that was cool. I like that little mm -hmm. line. Let's get back to it. I ain't gonna boost the I'm not much. I got the spirit of pity. Mimicking vivid this image. They make these things in the kid to be killing this image. Vivid vividity. Wanna be chilling with vidy? I did it. I'm cutie the kid. This isn't the biggie. But I'm sticking with dizzy and wizzy. Sucking the titty like diggy diggy diggy. My head in the heat. Caught to me flow. Is this his flow, dude? Is is this his flow? I gotta give him props for that. He's killing that. Yeah, the, it's just the flow. The flow, I think, is captivating. I think when you hear that, you're like, this motherfucker's killing it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. When, when you first, if you take the lyrics away and what he's actually saying, it's just the way he's presenting and the way he's he's dynamic. The way he's presenting that is, is dope. You're like, wow, okay, he, he's gotta be killing it. He's gotta be killing it, right? Yeah. No, but, and he is. Right. He's killing it. I'm, I'm not. I don't know if he's killing it in terms of his clever lyricism. Right, right. He's killing it in terms of how he's presenting the material, right. how he's flowing, how right. he's delivering the material. So let's get to the lyrics. <laughs> you know, say Ryan be trying to save him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's good. He's good. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. 
cut them off that easy, baby. We gotta be fair. I know. I'm just <laughs> Exquisite ability mimicking vividest imagery, lyrically stinging a killer bee, killing the similes. He is killing the sim killing the similes, similes that's yeah. for sure. Willy really dilly, dilly. Dilly. <laughs> we'll be chilling with Fiddy and Diddy and Cuddy and Kitty, listening to Biggie, yeah. bumming a Siggy with Dizzy and Wizzy. Okay, so that, I mean, I get it. The yeah. alliteration, again, the multi-syllable yep. usage. Yeah. Sucking a titty, titty, like giggity, 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 yeah. <laughs> so he's referencing uh, Quagmire off of, uh, <laughs> of uh, Family Guy. Giggity, giggity. giggity. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's get back to it. Trying to be that type of friend, trying to be that type of life, you know. Like, I ain't even trying to meet myself for life, and trying to meet myself no game. I'm trying to keep myself for right, you know. I throw the start of Russian heat when I'm on stage. I don't compete with none of you pagans, I speak to pop the waste, man. My flow is sweet, I know the streets, they love to taste it. But I'm feeding under the table, just putting niggas in graves and shit. So ask the truth is, I smell a lot and shit. But the truth is, oh, let me see. Okay. Heat them on stage, I don't compete with none of you pagans, because it's big. Okay. Let's get back to it. But if the shoe fits, wear it, and it fits me. See, I'm running also oh, so so stick me at the top of the bus with a big beat. Big beats, when we feel like tricks and the sound, just stick to the rack. No giving it back, flipping a packet of six, ripping a tick down a mint, drinking a tick on my wrist, drinking a tick on the tick on my wrist, drinking a tick on the tick on the tick on the wrist, twist it and get it lit, nigga, walk. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, it's the flow. Yeah, the okay. flow and the way you can put words together, man. I mean, yeah, he's. He's got he's got skill. He's got a lot of skill when it comes to that. Yep, yep. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a thumbs up. Yeah. I'm a, you know I'm, I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> the dude's no. got skill, man. Uh, I do like the beat, the beat selection. I like the that old school '90s, yep. uh, that boom bap '90s yep. selection. Yep. I like that. I thought his flow was crazy. I thought mm -hmm. his multi-syllable uh, usage was crazy. Wordplay crazy. Yep. So he's got a lot of checks. Whether or not he's saying anything in a, in a really clever way, which which is kind of what I look for in lyricism. Eh. You know, but I do give him a thumbs up overall. He got a lot of checks. Yeah. I need to hear something else from him, and this is only this song that I'm talking about, guys. So please, you know, send some other, um, some other uh, suggestions our way for Ocean yeah. Wisdom. I want to hear something else from him, maybe outside of this flow. Want to hear him? I just want to hear something else from him. I want to get a, a good feel for where he's at lyrically. So, but this was good. This was good. Yeah, I think I think it was dope. I think you hit everything pretty much on, on, on the head. You know what I mean? There was a lot of slang, like you said, in there. So yep. um, maybe listen to something else. But I don't know. Maybe that's his. Uh, that's 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 his pocket. That's that's his lane right there. Okay. That's what he does. I, I, I don't know. But um, maybe we'll check out the fire in the booth or you know something something else. Whatever you guys uh, recommend. Yeah. But uh, I think he was dope though. Yeah, he wasn't bad. He, was dope. he wasn't the, bad, guys. That's that's for sure. Yeah. It wasn't a bad uh, a bad uh, suggestion from you guys at all. Um, I just I'm. I, 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 if this is his flow all the time, it would make, I, I don't know if I would be able to deal with it all the time. So I'm hoping that he changes his flow up a little bit. But this was cool for, for an introduction to him. So yeah. we'll give it, him a it, thumbs up. It definitely showcased his skill. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So Thumbs up. If you guys yeah. like the video, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. This is Lost in Vegas. George, Ryan, we out.